And so I assemble these uh, wolves as if they've just come out of the forest. You, the spectator or the artist, are standing on the other side of a little valley. They have just come out of the forest and they think there's something there and you think there's something there. They think it could be a human being because they can't see you any better than you can see them. And the whole essence of the thought, which adds to the mystery, is this stupid little annoying tree. And so I looked all over our property where we lived in Ontario to find a hopeless, dumb little tree that was uh, not quite Charlie Brown's Christmas tree, but <laughs> along the same lines. I didn't want it to be beautiful, handsome, bonsai, rhythmic. I just wanted it to be some pathetic little tree that may or may not make it. And it is aspen, which is what I, I like a lot. And they grow on the edges of, um, of forests in wolf country very often. And so um, I placed that tree between you and the wolves. If you're a photographer, you would find this uh, very, very annoying. The, the tree is in your way and it's, it's spoiling your view of the wolves. And they can't quite see you. You can see uh, some of them are kind of trying to look up over the branches and that other one's got its head down trying to look under the branches. So they're wondering, they're puzzled, and you are a bit mysterious to them, and they're a bit mysterious to you. And how many are there anyway? There's this sense of mysteriousness, a slight sense of menace. Human beings are definitely trouble for wolves. And, um, and, and also you, human beings have this thing about wolves that even though there's almost no records of wolves in North America ever hurting a human being, um, except a captivity wolf, that uh, there is this thing about it that makes your hair stand up on end a bit if you're in close proximity. And I've shown them deliberately eye to eye. They're on the same level as you. Most mammals, unless they're elephants or giraffes, you're looking down on them if you're on the same ground. Um, but I want to have them so their eye level is exactly the same as your eye level because this is my philosophy to view nature no matter what, no matter how lowly nature is, I view it with respect, all creatures. A kind of eye to eye with respect becomes the, the philosophy behind it.